buildings and the building construction sectors combined are responsible for over a third of global final energy consumption and nearly 40% of direct and indirect CO2 emissions. So our buildings, our built environment has a giant impact on whether the world is sustainable or will be preserved for future generations. Even though you think of construction as this industry that pollutes and uses tons of fuel and produces tons of greenhouse gases, actually is poised to make one of the biggest effects on our future in climate. And that influence you can have has so much to do with efficiency, to plan your routes better driving, excavating, to analyze machines and understand how you can make them more fuel efficient, to dive into our, our long-running processes and, and find things with data that don't need to be done, the excess. And there's a lot of it in construction. Two things are intersecting, mechanical and electrical. We have to tear something out and, and rework it or maybe we ordered the wrong parts and we have a schedule delay or so forth. By being able to model some of these things in, in software and, and using these, these services to ultimately get to more of a first time right solution, there's, there's less waste. Um, th throughout the process. Fabricating everything before you get to site or as much as possible with minimum amounts of waste is, is really critical. The tools are there, the technology is there, we just need to get it in the hands of more contractors and, and they will be more productive and more sustainable as a result. Build projects with more efficient, more effective means as far as reducing uh, carbon dioxide levels in a more sustainable way. What we actually see, the, the biggest impact can actually be made in the planning phase of the project. So when a project is being planned, optimizing a corridor or, or a route, you know, from, from one city to another city, a location to another location. And at the lowest level, being a responsible operator at, at on site, being somebody that, that is doing this expert work, but is, is really being cognizant of when they're idling the machine, of how they're structuring their day and their work to minimize the amount of fuel they're burning and the effect they're having on the climate. Trash and contaminated materials. I mean, you have construction professionals making decisions about what material needs to go to a landfill and what doesn't. And stormwater pollution prevention is such a big part of um, of making sure that we stay green. And I think that it's not something that people necessarily think of in terms of sustainability. But the thing is, like construction produces so much waste that has the potential to run off into streams. And a big part of that starts with the stormwater plan and making sure that we have the proper measures in place so that we're not having a negative ecological impact. And so all these decisions play into a, a massive climate picture, one that I think everyone in construction has some responsibility to understand.